So we're going to install VMware on this PC. As you can see, it's now loading up my USB stick and it's going to go through the motions of installing from scratch. I'll just get it started, then I'll pause, move to the next bit, and then we'll go through what you need to input, etc. Apologies, I've got the screen on the left. I've actually got two computers on the same computer on the same monitor um but the, the one on the right is the one we want so it's now loaded the software it's now going to go into what i would assume is extracting and making sure it's got everything it needs to install so this should take another couple of minutes so we'll just pause now if you've had an error relating to I th hang on, what's the error called? It's a, hang on. Sorry, hang on a second. I, I actually was I had the error myself. It's actually relating to no network adapters, which is, what was the code on it? That's it. It's a VM where error, NFS, 41c client it's failed um this one actually <laughs> but we've actually installed successfully when i first installed this didn't actually work because it didn't have the gigabyte driver um as such it just said failed now this software i believe only works on a minimum of 10 100 1000 base uh, network cards so if you don't get the network card to work it basically won't install so with this there is a way of installing the gigabyte drivers but there's also a way of doing it with other drivers but you'll need to hunt down your actual drivers for this software but if you do get that error here that says nfs41 client failed it basically means you it doesn't didn't find your network driver um, and it's got compatibility issues so here we go we're going to go into the install now Oh, it would put put white text so you can't actually see what I'm pressing. So press enter. Um, yes, we accept the license agreement. It's now looking for what hard drives are available. Top one is my hard drive. Bottom one is my USB stick. So we want the top one. Gathering more information about it. Checking compatibility, etc. Uh, well, it's okay to delete everything. I hope so. Choose your language. I was at the bottom, United Kingdom. And create a password. Obviously, I'm not telling you what mine is. Uh, that should go in there. Yep. Go for it, do whatever you like. And we're off for an install. I'll pause for a minute. Install's finally finished. As you can see, it's got a trial on it for 60 days, then you must input a key. Um, for the free version, I think you can just get the key off the website, which I already have in my email. Um, so it might be worth doing that now before you start messing around with it, so you know it's done and dusted. And then you don't have to go and look for it. Uh, we're just about to reboot and let it log in. As it says here though, remember to unplug your D uh, USB boot or your DVD drive, your CD, whatever you installed with. So that it'll just boot straight in. All right. As we're now booting in. Let's see how quick it boots up. Should be pretty fast on this machine. We're getting there. We're getting there. I just want to show the boot up because then you know if, if yours hangs or something, you can compare it um, to the one I've just installed to see if you've actually got a problem or whether it's actually just slow. 
at the moment. Everything just seems to be going in smoothly, although a little bit sluggish. I might just change this over to a solid state drive. Okay, it's now starting the services. I didn't say that. That took a few minutes to actually boot up. Okay, so it's now telling me I need to log in here. 192.168.1.102. So, I've got another computer up here. So, we can actually do it while I'm sat here. So, it's 192. Oh. One nine two one six eight one one zero two. As you can see there, that's what it's saying to manage it. So we're we'll logging over here. Uh, security continuities website. And here we go. We're now alive, and as you can see here, it's recognised that I've gone in. So. That screen can basically be switched off now. So we've installed our VMware ESXi on our server and now we want to log into it. This is our IP address and what it's saying is download vSphere client for Windows. So you want to go and get that and when you do just to install it and we're going to open it up here. As you can see that IP is the same as we input here. Our user is root. Make sure it's a small R, not a large R. It won't work otherwise. Put your password in and then log in. And it's going to take less than a minute to log in. We should be there literally about now. Or a little bit longer. So it says that we haven't put our password in. We'll, we'll add that later. Because we actually already have one. And from here, we want to actually click on here because this is our actual machine and we want to go into our configuration and set up our system. So the first thing we want to do is configure our hard drive. So we'll go into configuration. Uh, let's have a look. Storage. And it's already created data store one using my drive. Um, so it's already given it 457 gig. Um, for the initial drive, but this is where you'd add your extra drives, but currently I've only got one drive plugged in because we're on an install. I've got another six to add. Um, now, the other thing you've got here is your license features. As you can see here, it still says we're in evaluation mode with an expiry date. So this is where you would add your configuration details. If we go to the far right, which is just off this page, there's actually an edit button. And then you just assign the key and enter it in here. I won't do that because I'm not sure if I'll be breaching any um, terms and conditions of usage by having my uh, key visible. Uh, but the, the whole point is this is where your main configurations are. This is where you do most of your work. Very little is actually done directly on the server. So you basically get your server set up get it booting on LAN or whatever and then shove it in the corner out of the way because you're not going to need it too often because everything is done via this software. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thanks for watching.